World of Warships Legends. And today I'm going to bring you another uh, top five video. And this top five is going to be the top five Japanese battleships in the game. It includes both the tech tree and the premium ships. And we're going to go with the top five. And uh, there's there's not as many uh, Japanese battleships as, for example, there is in the um, the U.S. Uh, fleet in World of Warships Legends, but there's still a good chunk of them. And we have a number of really good ones, so it was pretty hard to pick um, the top five. Let's start back that now, and here is my number five from the top five list. And you guys probably recognize her. She's got that skyscraper for a tower in the middle of that ship. And this is the Fuso, the Tier 5 Japanese battleship Fuso. Now, <clears throat> of course, there's like basically three Fusos in the game. There's the Fuso, there's the AL Fuso, and then there is the Heat Ray, and the premium versions of it. But you know what? I've always enjoyed the, um, the initial original Tech Tree Fuso. It was always a fun ship. Now, the reason why I pick it, and it's a great ship for Tier 5, because she's got one of the longest ranges at tier 5 for the Japanese in fact for all tier 5 battleships you can get 19 plus kilometer range on this thing which is really really good advantage when you're playing at tier 5 and <clears throat> which means she's got that guns of plenty as well because you can see them right there you see the dual turrets there's one two three four five six dual 356 millimeter guns there and those guns are pretty damn accurate if you ever played the Fuso, a lot, well, actually, you all have to play the Fuso as you go up through the tech trees, but you probably realize that she's a pretty accurate ship at range, which is really nice to have. Now, she's also got 57,000 hull points, a torpedo reduction belt. You can see the belt there along the side of around 34%. AA, not too shabby at tier 5 at 49, and the speed of a half decent 26. So, this is my pick for tier 5, so stick around. We'll go on to my pick for number four, coming up next. Five Japanese battleships in the game of World War Warships Legends. And this one here is the absolutely gorgeous and powerful hitting Hayuga. And this will also include the Hayuga Winter Edition as well, because they're virtually practically the same ship with just a small little uh, differences. But... Either ship, the Hayuga or the Hayuga Winter, are perfectly fine for the top four spot. Now you can see her in her golden wheat camel, and it's an absolutely gorgeous camel for this ship. Looks good. You can get this on a few other ships as well, like Yamato and, uh, and the Asasio, etc. Now, I chose the Hayuga over the uh, Fuso simply because she hits harder, and she's also got a reloader. I'll explain that. First off, lots of guns, just like the Fuso. She's got six dual 356 millimeter guns, just like the Fuso, with around a 29 second reload. And they, <clears throat> excuse me, and you're still sitting at good range on this thing, too. Now, what's nice is that you have two reloader, which are speed up those reloaders on your main batteries, which are really, really nice to have, and quite the advantage for the ship. And this allows this ship to stand your own against those American Tier 5 premiums. So having those reloaders on here to uh, give you that slight quick reload, which is really nice to have. Now, she's also got long reach, just like the Fuso, which is great. And she's also got more armor on her. She's got 60,000 plus hull points and a torpedo reduction of 34% along her belt there. AA is a little less than the Fuso at 47, and her speed's around the same at 26. But that is my pick for number four in my top five for Japanese battleships in the game, the Hayuga or the Hayuga Winter Edition, either one. Okay, stick around for number three coming up. A difficulty picking on this one because I could pick either the Amagi or the Key. Uh, both obviously are very similar ships, but I decided, now I really do love the Amagi, I love playing that ship, and I also enjoy the Key. And uh, I decided I was going to go ahead and pick the key for number three. And like the Amagi, the key has half-decent armor. She's got those nice sure-shot ballistics, which give you more confidence when you're firing off her guns there. 
and you can see those guns there those guns are nice you got five dual 410s they can go around 19 kilometers plus with a 30 second reload with about a 12,600 AP in damage really nice to have and of course with the key the key's got more armor on her than the Amagi does you're looking at 68,000 hull points as opposed to like around 62,000 and the AA is half decent as well now one of the biggest reasons why why I chose the key over the Amagi is because the Amagi actually has torpedoes on board you get two triple launchers of 610 torpedoes and that is a really nice thing to have because a lot of people forget that the key has torpedoes and that get the opponent to a lot of issues so now the AA on here is a lot better than the Amagi's as well at 92 and she's running at 30 plus knots so I went with number three as the top five battleship in the game for the Japanese fleet and that is the tier 7 key now let's go on to number two pick for the top five Japanese battleships in the game and that is the lovely tier 8 Japanese battleship the Musashi and there she is in all her glory in the nice black camel there I do like that now I chose this baby for number two well because she's got those really big guns in the game right she's got those beautiful you can see them right there three triple 460 millimeter guns which are 18 inches beautiful guns they run out to 19.1 kilometers or more with a nice 27 second reload for such big guns, which is nice to have. And you're looking at a 14,800 base AP damage on her. And of course, the Masashi has the superior AP penetration trait, which is really good to have as well. And there's good solid armor on her, as long as you're not showing her broadside flat. And she sits with 85,000 hull points at tier 8 with a torpedo reduction you can see the belt there along the sides at 55 percent AA not very good at 57 though speed around 29 knots so that's the Musashi a really nice ship at tier 8 and my number two pick for the top five Japanese battleships in the game well we're heading off to number one now and I bet you guys probably know what the number one battleship is well it's coming up next my number one pick for the top five Japanese battleships in the game and how could I not pick the absolutely gorgeous historically beautiful Yamato the legendary battleship Yamato now like them and like her sister ship the Masashi this ship is just a little bit better than the Masashi for example right off the bat she's got those big guns we talked about with the Masashi for example she's got those big three triple 460 millimeter cannons that she has housed in three turrets beautiful guns 19.7 kilometers plus and around 27 second reload as well with the same 14,800 base damage for AP shells she could get a little bit more range than the Masashi now she's got better armor than the Masashi she's got 90,000 hull points which is nice to have and she's got the same torpedo reduction as the Masashi at 55 percent now What's different with the uh, mis with the Yamato, uh, the Masashi has superior AP penetration, where the Yamato has the trait of superior HE damage. And I'm not sh a lot of people out there don't use the HE very often in the ship. They prefer to lug, lug those or lob those AP shells like I do. And we all know how much is a, a good strong ship this can be. Now her AA is rated at 85 because she's actually got a nice anti-aircraft aircraft suite where the Masashi hardly has any. <clears throat> and she has around the same speed, around 29 knots. But either way, <clears throat> she's also wearing that golden wheat camel, which is just ab. It's one of the best looking camels in the game. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And it really fits and suits this beautiful legendary battleship really well. Well, here you have it, guys. That is my number one pick for the top five Japanese battleships in the game. It is the Yamato. And number two, as you know, was the Masashi. Number three was the Key. Number four was the Hayuga. And number five was the Fuso. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this, uh, please give me a like. That would be wonderful. helps the algorithm. And, of course, if you'd like to see more of this, then please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. I would really appreciate that. Anyways, this is Spotted Gamer. Till next time, I'll see you on the seas.